Welcome back everybody. Today is a shorter video than my usual. I've got one item by request and that is the taco toaster. And there it is. And the taco toaster is an item that allows you to make crispy taco tortilla shells in your toaster. Is it necessary? Does it work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, I wanted to try out the flour and corn tortillas for the taco toaster. Now, I noticed on their instructions here, it states it fits any standard five and a half inch tortilla. Most of the flour tortilla shells that I've bought are six inches. I wanted to try it anyways to see how it worked, but it was a little bit too big for my toaster. And here's how that went. Got a couple of flour tortillas here first. They say to warm it up in the microwave for about 15 seconds first. I'll do that and then get started. Now the way it's supposed to work is you slide it like this. Seems simple enough. Oh wow. My my toaster will barely fit this. Look at this. These are standard taco shells, but it's hanging over just a little bit. I'm just going to shove it in there. Ooh, this could get ugly real quick. And it's a little disturbing that it hangs over so much here, but I don't really have much of a choice. I'm looking at their instructions. They say flour tortillas only take one toasting here at Taco Toaster. We turn the toast right now about three quarters of the way to the right and toast only once. Ooh, I don't, oh, there's already smoke coming out of there. Oh, it's already smoking. I'm rooting for it. I really am. I'm hoping that it works. It's kind of disturbing how that front part folds over. This one, I, it's still folded up over down there. Ooh, this looks like it could be a disaster. I don't know. Now there is a burning smell coming out of the toaster. Now I know toasters do have burning smells, but this is one of those bad burning smells, not one of those good burning smells. There's definitely a amount of suspense on this. I guess it's also going to depend what kind of toaster you have because my openings seem to be a little bit too small. And they also say that when it pops up, the taco toaster will be too heavy and you'll have to kind of push it up yourself. Assuming my taco toaster survives the first round, I'm going to try, oh, it's done. It's done. But if it survives, I'm going to try corn tortillas next. Oh, oh, oh well, that's, oh no, oh, ouch. It almost worked. This, this one worked a little bit better. Oh yeah, look, look at this. I think that might be even acceptable. It's, it seems kind of, I mean, it's retained the shape, look. But this one, oh, disappointment. I guess, I didn't really, that's not something that really came across in the Amazon comments, because people were saying that it was too big or too small for the toasters. The other one could be salvaged, but I mean, is that desirable? I don't I really think so. I guess maybe it would hold your food in there. You, could hold, you can eat it from this side. I don't know. I'm trying to see the bright side of this. Now, the other thing that they say is you're supposed to cool this off after two uses, but the corn tortillas are supposed to take two uses anyway, so I'm going to cool it off after one use before I start the corn tortillas. I think these corn tortillas are a little bit smaller, so they might work better. <laughs> I'm hoping. So for round two, I wanted to try corn tortillas. I used their instructions for two toasting cycles, one on max and the second one halfway up. That didn't really turn out so well either. Here's what happened. All right, the taco toaster was... Uh, I would say I have mixed results from my first round, so let's try some corn tortillas instead. When toasting corn tortillas, it'll take two toasts, and they turn the browning knob all the way to the right, and toast it once, and then the middle once more. Wow. Let's try it out. I'm going to see if their instructions are accurate or not. These are a little bit smaller, which could bode well for the taco toaster. I'm going to really try to make this as nice as I can. It's better than the flour tortillas I have. They say all the way up. I don't, that's what they say, I'm gonna do it. And here we go. Well, this one's not smoking as much. That's a good thing. All right, well, we've got the first round done. Now it says to go halfway, which is three and a half on this toaster, and try it again. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's done. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Hey, now, look at this. Now, I think we might be onto something here. Ouch. But, oh, oh, no, look at that. It, oh, man, that didn't look as cracked. Oh, man. It looks so good coming out of the toaster, but. Oh. All right, it looks nice from the side, but look at this. Nope. That's not gonna hold anything. And, and that's the better of the two. Look at this one. 
Hello there. I start to wonder, wouldn't it just be easier to buy some hard shells and not deal with all this? I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of trial and error involved in getting this right. Now at this point, I knew I could get the taco toaster to work, so I went back and made some adjustments. So with the flour tortillas, I cut it down to five and a half inches, and I found success. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure out the size of this opening here, which is five and a half inches of my toaster. And see, this is six inches. You get out my SZA pizza cutter and cut off a half of an inch off of this thing. Let's see. All right, just a hair under five and a half inches. Perfect. Now I cut the end off so it'll fit in the toaster better. Let's see if that works. Oh, look at that. It's fitting. It fits perfect. It fits perfect. All right, they said three quarters of the way. That looked good. Taking a look at this plate, this is a pretty sad looking set of shells. Look at that, not, not so great. But I've got high hopes for this one that I cut down to the right size. Ooh, just popped up. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. This is by far the best one because the size fit in there. I didn't have to smash the end in there. I know it's kind of ridiculous having to cut the end off, but that, that worked. Look, it actually works, looks perfect. And to celebrate having a perfect taco shell, let me get some taco meat over here and see how it actually tastes. I've got some taco meat here made in my hex clad pan. All right, there we go. A nice crispy toasted taco shell. Do I eat from the flat end? I, I, I'm, not really, I'm not really sure. Mmm. Mmm. I will say that that shell was really good. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Once you play around with it, you might actually like it. So after finding success with the flour tortillas, I went back to the corn tortilla, only used one toasting cycle, and that went much better. Check it out. I feel like it'd only be fair if I try the corn tortilla one more time and just back off the heat just a little bit because I really feel like I was close. Now this is just one round all the way up and you can see it's already cracking in the bottom. I don't think it needs a second round, but it barely survived the first. Corn tortilla shell. It's, the bottom seems weaker, but it's holding up. So let me try it out. Mmm, mmm. All right, the corn tortilla shell, the second round was only going through there one time as opposed to two like they suggest. Worked better. I'm not sure it was better than other methods of doing that or just getting a hard shell, but it definitely worked. I think that with some trial and error, the taco toaster will work for you. Now, whether it's necessary or not, that's another story. It's going to be up to you to decide. So in the end, I think the taco toaster does do a pretty good job. Once you've kind of figured out how your tortilla shells and your toaster are going to kind of all work together, not everybody will find this to be necessary. Some people will love it. Some people won't. But if you do like the way it looks, I think you'll be able to get it to work provided you have the right size shells. But have you used something like this? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.